I'm Jason, portrait photographer. Um, you may have seen the previous video where I was doing the TCM, which is TTL Convert to Manual on the ST4 trigger from PixPro. Today I'm just going to show you how quick and easy it can be for a multiple setup. So you'll see behind me I've already got the lights in position. I've got Group A, which is the key light. I've got Group B, the hair light. And I've got Group C, which is going to be the fill light. From there what I'm going to do is set up the trigger, which I'll show you how I'm going to set it up in a minute. If you understand the lighting ratios and the way that the lights are going to work, you'll understand as I'm setting up the trigger, as I explain it, how you're having your key light at lighter uh, to lower setting because you're just wanting to fill the shadows. Um, same with the hair light, you're having it at lower because you just want that rim light and it's pointing back towards the camera. And of course your key light will be your main light, so that's the one that you want as your main metering. And you'll see from setting up the trigger how quick and easy you can actually get a multiple light setup for a portrait shoot using the TCM without having to go in with a light meter. Okay, so as before, we need to set up the trigger first. So again, today I'm using the peakers. So we go into the menu, we scroll down until we hit TCM, and then we select the 200 for the peakers, or if you're using the 360 hybrids, the 360, or the 600 if you're using the City 600. So it's already on the 200, so I can come back out of the menu. What I need to do then is set up the groups. So I've got group A. I'll turn that on onto TTL and it's on zero currently. I've got group B, TTL on zero, and group C, TTL. And again, they're all set to zero. Now, group A I'm gonna leave on zero because that's my key light. That's the one that I want to be the main one lighting. Group B is the hair light. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna guesstimate, but I'm gonna dial it down as it's coming back towards the camera. So I'm gonna put it at around about minus two. It'll depend also on the hair color, how light the hair is, how dark the hair is as it's a hair light, but we'll start with it on minus 2.3. I'm then gonna go into group C. Now that's the fill light. I'm gonna dial that one, just because it's me, all the way back to minus three. So there, I've got that set up now to what I think will be a good lighting ratio for the three lights. What I need to do now is bring in my model and try a few shots. So, last minute change while the um, camera was off, decided because of Shannon's hair colour, my beautiful model, that I would go for a darker background, so I've just flipped the background around. So what we're going to do now is, with those settings that I dialed in, we're going to take a shot and just see what we get in the back of the camera. So, stay there, that's perfect, don't move from there. So, first shot's a little overexposed, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that key light down, so we dial it down on the trigger. So I'm going down to minus 0.7. Hold that still again for me. And I'm liking that. I'm liking the key light. I'm now gonna to go to group C, which is the fill light over there. And I'm gonna turn that up just a little bit. So we have that at minus three. I'm turning it up to minus 1.7. Stay there for me, Shannon, that's gorgeous. And I like it. I like the hair light, it's subtle. We've got a subtle fill there. So what I'm gonna do now is press and hold the TCM button, convert it to my manual settings. Now, I'm ready to just shoot away, chin down a little bit, and not have to worry about the light shifting up and just come to the kit out it, stay there, and then back to center for me. Once you've got the TTL settings where you want them, so that it doesn't budge, we're gonna do a TCM. So we press and hold TCM, convert them all to manual settings, they're now set up as manual, so regardless of whether the model puts on a lighter colour or a darker colour, the, the meter in the camera is not going to read that scene as being any different because it's no longer metering through the lens. The, the lights are now set up as manual lights. Mm -hmm. 